Hey guys, what's up? Thank you for joining me again for another Is It Worth It video and today I'm going to talk about the awesome Monster Hunter world. I have been a massive Monster Hunter fan ever since I played Monster Hunter Freedom and Freedom 2 on the PlayStation Portable. It's been a franchise that has seen success over here in the West but not not mainstream, I'd say, and with the upcoming release of Monster Hunter Rise on the Nintendo Switch, I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that do not own a Switch, but would like to maybe get involved in the Monster Hunter scene, and Monster Hunter World obviously is available on Game Pass, I believe, on the Xbox One, and also you can get it quite cheaply on PlayStation 4. But is it worth it? Well, in short, absolutely. Monster Hunter is a amazingly fun, addictive and really cool gaming franchise in which you create your own Monster Hunter and well, the, the clue is in the title, you hunt monsters and these range from smaller monsters to absolutely giant Mondo ones. Like, I'm talking bloody huge. Um, of course, what you're seeing me fight here is an Anjanath which is a T-Rex style monster, but there's uh, Alder Dragons like the Nergigante, which is just basically horns with wings and an attitude. You can fight all sorts of uh, little uh, beasties that roam around the map. The, what, there's, each individual open world setting has its own little ecosystem with insects to capture, uh, various different types of uh, fauna and flora about which you can also then use to craft potions or antidotes and a myriad of other things you can you can craft to your heart's content you can collect materials you can obviously once you've hunted the monsters or any of the other indigenous life forms running around you can just carve them up get their bits of course it is rng uh, it's randomly dropped when you kill a monster so to unlock certain, uh, the, the ability to be able to craft certain armors or upgrade armor. Um, well, no, that's not true. To upgrade armor, you just use armor spheres and money, which you just gain via playing the game. But uh, to craft new armor sets, you need to, uh, depending on which armor set you would like, you have to just consistently keep hunting um, a monster or a couple of monsters again and again and again until you get uh, the said parts that you need but don't let that deter you it's a lot of fun each hunt can be just badass balls to the wall action the environments themselves certain parts are destructible so you can have it will just throw you through rocks uh, sometimes um, you can have just the land open up underneath you and get swallowed on a certain area there's jungle area, there's forest area, there's uh, the outer recess, which is kind of like, um, well, that's kind of where the outer dragons come from, so it's all mysterious. It's got like a molten core lava underneath, but then also like a sort of crystallized sort of surface. It's really, really cool. There's the coral reef, which just looks like somebody sucked all the water out of the ocean and you're just left with all this beautiful uh, coral and all this kind of stuff just floating about. Um, yeah, there's just I don't want to I don't want to you know give away everything, but there's just so much. And after you complete the main story of the game, yes, it's a game about monster hunting, but there is a story. I mean, I mean granted, not a memorable sort of life-changing story, but it's there. Uh, that's when Monster Hunter games truly begin. Is after you beat the main story, you can just use it variety of different weapons that your choice you can just keep crafting new ones upgrading the ones you've got just you can go nuts with the customization you can have a palico which is your cat companion which can accompany you if you're not playing online with other people which of course is advised you do it's a lot of fun you can just play with randoms you can uh, certain people including yourself if you would like to you could fire an sos flare into the air and then it will just send out a signal and other pe other players all around the world looking for, uh, well, you can just look it up and then they'll come and help you. And hopefully you'll get someone who's massively ranked up to just come and just two shot the monster. But then you don't want things to be too easy because you could easily then get super bored. But this game has received an absolute buttload of free updates and there's still updates coming out now for it, I believe. Um, I obviously captured all of this footage just before Christmas, but I think maybe there's something coming out 
co coincide with the movie, even though I'm not really excited for the movie, if I'm honest. I don't know why they felt the need to put in the American military. It's unnecessary. But I haven't seen the film. I'm, you know, I'm just going to stick to reviewing and talking about video games for the time being. But yes, Monster Hunter has so much content. I myself in Monster Hunter World have put in over 150, nearly 200 hours. I have friends that have put in more. There are people out there that have put in thousands of hours. Monster Hunter World has plenty to offer to anyone and Monster Hunter World is especially the best place to start if you are new to the series as it it plays very very well, it will show you what to do on a lot of things, it, there's a lot of good helpful tutorials and hints, there's a community of people out there that will help you, there is of course the snobs that will see you're very low ranked and they may or may not help you but they're very very few and far between. Uh, you can go obviously join Discord groups or Facebook groups or whatever kind of group you want, any forum on the internet, and always find hunts. There are still people playing this in droves. You will always find other people to play with. Uh, it, it's just such an incredible game. You can fight in arena style matches. There's, there's the challenges, there are side quests are plenty, which you can take from various NPCs around the hub areas. You can, there's obviously the shop there which you can buy. You can cultivate. Uh, different plants like herbs and whatnot and just combine it with a fertilizer to just create more uh, things for you to craft you as you uh, hunt the monsters and you collect their footprints and their saliva and their just uh, like the corpses they fed on uh, you can gain research points and it will just consistently continue to update with uh, all the information on the monster and what its weakness is, what certain parts of the monster that you can break to get certain parts, and yeah, th this game just has so much in it. I will be making more videos on Monster Hunter World, um, I want to do it justice and uh, just put together an official review for it. I want to release a video talking about the expansion, uh, the Iceborne expansion, because it is definitely brilliant expansion to the game. It's a shame it was the only one. I mean, who knows? We may receive more from Monster Hunter World. I don't know officially. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for listening to me ramble on about Monster Hunter World. Hopefully you check out any other future Monster Hunter World videos I make. And yeah, thank you. Uh, please leave a like if you like the video or a dislike. Please leave a comment if you're a big Monster Hunter fan or if you've just never given it a go or even if you've just never gotten on with the franchise. Uh, sometimes certain games are just not for certain people and that's absolutely fine but please don't forget if you've not well, or even even if you haven't seen any of my other videos when I reach a thousand subscribers I will be giving away a Nintendo Switch Lite to one of my subscribers and then going forward I will do more regular giveaways and whatnot just to give back because the support's been amazing and um, it's been a joy to read all the comments people have been leaving on my videos so thank you very much and until next time